Ah. <laughs> um, so we, we want to win with the elusives here, I think. I think Rally's really good. Uh, I'm just going to keep this hand. I think the Barrier Rally is very good at this matchup, and I don't think the Relentless Pursuit is that great because they can cancel the Rally by killing the unit I use it on. So let's let's try to out-aggro them, hopefully. Meta Slaveler again. I have no choice, chat. Can you explain for us mechanics behind the game? Start a game in odds or evens. It's, it's random who starts first. It is absolutely random. Um, some decks prefer to be odds. Some decks prefer to be evens. It really depends on the deck you're playing. Yo, Don Hindi! Thank you for the tier 1 sub, brother! Thank you very much, sir. For the tier 1 sub and all the support. Appreciate you, my man. I really do. Thank you. Thank you for that. I mean, Young Witch is here next, right? She has to be. Yeah, so I can attack with the 2-1 as well. Oh, that's a nice draw. It's a very nice draw. That makes my life a lot easier. Yeah, Bright Steel on 2 is necessary to block the 4-2 and also to make this not be able to attack. He can kill this off if he wants. Um, I don't think I pull with the Flea Feather Tracker, honestly. Wow, okay. I am a, a pretty big fan of that. Okay, let me think about this. Do I want to... Yeah, I want to attack. I want to I trade. I don't have Poppy. If I had Poppy, I probably wouldn't attack with this. And I'd wait to buff it to 3-2 stats. But yeah, so we have Green Glade into Young Witch, and then we go. Oh, that's a nice draw as well. So, depending on what he plays now, we might play this early or late. We'll see. Doesn't Sion Draven absolutely destroy you the moment they get Poros? It makes it tough, but Young Witch is actually not horrible versus it. All right, so this is a very easy play. We just drop down the Bright Seal Protector on. On this, that's it. Now, if he attacks, he's telling me he has Mystic Shot. It's a bit scuffed. Um, let's drop down Green Glade here. I, or is it Young Witch? Young Witch is probably better. Maybe it wasn't. Maybe Green Glade was better. I'm gonna. I'm, okay, now that I drew Nopify, I actually think it's worth dropping her because I can stop, get excited, and Mystic Shot. I mean, even if I couldn't stop it, I still think I'd play it. Like, our hand looks good. We can buff both of our non-elusives, so he can't really properly block. He has um, Whirling Blades, which is the main concern of ours. A bit of a bummer, but it's not, not, not the end of the world, because again, we're doing this. And he doesn't have double removal. And I don't think he has a Mystic Shot, because I think he would have played it if he had it. Yo, Grap just wanted to give you an update. My now fiancé said yes, but unfortunately my great-grandpa will be passing soon most likely within the next 24 to 48 hours. Wow. Your stream always cheers me up no matter what and it'll be here watching you hit Master's good luck brother smiley face. I'm sorry to hear that. That's a bummer, dude. I'm sorry to hear it. Also, congratulations on the yes, man. That's awesome. That is awesome. Congratulations. Long life lived. No, don't throw my rally away. Okay, never mind. That's not that bad. That is not that bad. So we have rally here into attack next turn. So we always want to give barrier to uh, a blocker. Every time. Because now he can't even attack. And I'm going to double attack now. So I, th I think we win here. It's a bit too much damage for him to stop. Maybe I should have rallied next turn though. Uh, maybe next turn was the better rally turn. I think. So th we don't give this quick attack, by the way. Alright. That's first game down. Yo, Salim. Thank you for the four months, man. Third of a year. Thank you, Salim. Thank you for that. He doesn't have mana this turn. I'm aware of that. But next turn, I get to double attack with the... With the two... With the witch buffs, right? So I'm, I'm pushing two extra damage next turn. I really hope I get... I mean, I, don't, I think I'm just not going to die, but... I can't wait to get to 100. I hope, I hope I'm healthy at that age. 
What are we looking at here? Oh boy, what is that? What is this? Is this... I'm almost certain I need to hold on to Nopify for this matchup. Yo, Raythin. Thank you for the gear tier 1 sub... Gifted sub to Eugene as well, man. Thank you, friend. Thank you so much. I think we have to go past pass 3. Um, I think in this matchup, you need to be able to stop uh, single combats on 3 for Zed. So we're just going to play Zed without any backup. I'm pretty sure this is the right play. Now, he might have uh, Despair. I don't know what kind of deck he's running, honestly. Despair is a way to kill this. We'll see. I think it's an Undying deck. I do. I'm, I'm not 100% sure it is, but I think it is. Ronation is a problem. That means we need to do as much damage as we possibly can. The fact that we're holding up to 3 spell mana means we're going to get an early Aegis, right? That means mana 5, we can get a really strong Aegis coming down. And if he plays in Dying now, that means my, my Zed levels, which is awesome. Mm-hmm, okay. So, it's looking more and more to be uh, Undying. It could be a Scythria deck. It could be a Scythria deck as well, like Matron Scythria. And he is playing on evens, which means his mana 8 is very strong. Radiant is going to be destroy you. Um, no, because I have Quick Attack and Sharp Sight and Elusives. Radiant can't really block, and I have Nopify for single combat. I'm probably going to rally next turn, I would say. Thanks, friend. Actually, I can't do it this turn. I literally can't. I can't afford to do it this turn, unfortunately. Um, crap. I wish I had more units. Wait, what? Why is he running a Rekdite Horror? I mean, I have to consider single combats to be a problem. All right, let's go Elusive here. And uh, I could have gone for double rally, but I think I'm almost never double rallying here. I'm just going to go like Relentless Pursuit and Nopify or Relentless plus Sharp Sight. Our hand is looking solid. He probably does run Sharp Sight. So that's something to consider as well. I do have Zed's Shadow Shift if I if I want it. I wonder if buffing this was correct. Maybe I should have buffed this. Like this stops Sharp Sight from messing me up, right? Okay, so Zed's leveled. That's really good. He doesn't have Sharp Sight in hand. I think he would have used it if he had it. He's probably going for Radiant Guardian now. Probably. If he runs Radiant, I will rally onto that. So I will rally on the Zed and push him to 7 damage, I believe. Single combat is a problem, but um, I have a way to deny single combat. So if he goes for single, I have a way to stop it. If he goes for sharp sight or buff, I have a way to stop it. I have a, lo I have a lot of ways to stop a lot of things. So that's a single combat, I'm assuming. Do you run Ghost? One copy. I, no, actually, this, this version doesn't run it now. This version doesn't run Ghost. Now, here's another play. I could actually play Sharp Sight here. Give him the full lifesteal. Zed will stay alive. Right? And he can't really stop that for one mana. Maybe Sharp Sight is better. Because then I kill the Radiant Guaranteed. I might not kill him next turn. I'm actually going to go for that. I don't think he runs Go Hard. Like, Go Hard is the only, only messed up card. I'm going to go for this. I think this is stronger. I think this is the better play. I think we want to kill the Radiant. Because he's just not going to block with the Radiant this turn. And then next turn he has a very strong Radiant. Actually, he, the Gohar doesn't even stop us. What am I saying? So now he has to block everything. Um, we're, we're looking really good to win. He has to double block. And we have Rally next turn. We have Rally plus Sharp Sight or Rally plus Nopify. And we're always rallying next turn because next turn, um, we want to be able to open attack versus an empty board if possible. Poppy's amazing though. Wow. How do I ever not play Poppy here? So we know he has Matron. That doesn't matter at all. We're just going to take 12 to face. Okay. We're good. Single combat matters a bit, but we have a way to stop it. Hmm. Now this is this is awkward. This is actually an awkward spot to be in. I think what I have to do, I, I can't I have to play around um atrocity, because if I go here, he can atrocity me for three. 
Which means I have to block this. I think this is the right block. If he has double plus two plus two in hand, he can't kill me. I'm pretty sure this is the correct block. Single combat? Oh well. If he has it, he has it. Like if he has another single combat, it is what it is. I don't think he had double single. Because earlier on he didn't play as if he had single combat. He let my Zed survive. Okay, so he does have single combat. We take less damage. It's a bummer. But we still have like open attack, right? Like we're just gonna beat him up here. We're pushing for a lot of damage on open attack. Let's see. We'll we'll play Shadow Sassy before attacking, I think. Um Ah no, not probably not. Probably open attack, because we're already pushing for nine damage on board. He's down to one. And then Rally should just be the win. You won? No, I'm one off lethal. Maybe I should have buffed this. It wouldn't have made a difference. I could I could do this for lethal though. That's a pretty cool play. I think I think Rally is safer. I think Rally is the safer play. It's harder to stop. I could have gone for Zed Shadow. Like he could stop me with Concerted Strike if I. Okay, we're good. I have made my judgment. Lost Ark is poop, but I love you, Grappler. Uh, I, I only played her for like 10-15 minutes. Alan says it gets good after a certain a couple of hours, so I have no idea. Alright, um looking at what we're facing, I think the plan is I'm gonna I'm gonna try my Brom deck. I built a Brom deck off stream that feels kinda decent. I'm gonna try it. Maybe I should keep the challenger. I think maybe keeping the three drop is good, but Getting Zed is Zed just so powerful. Um, so it's gonna be one pass three. I need to find a two cost um card to protect Zed. Is it Brom Nami? No, it's just pure Brom. All right, so this is literally the kind of hand you want to have in this matchup. He has a very hard time killing Zed. Uh, this is unfortunate if he has Parlay because that's a very good opener for him. I mean, it's all, all, it's always possible that I should have passed turn one, but pushing two damage for free is significant. And he only has one card to really punish me with. Um, I think we never play Young Witch. Am I wrong about that? Maybe Young Witch is good enough. Like, how does he kill Zed on three? No, I'm, I'm, I think we never play Young Witch. I think we want to hold on to this. I'm pretty sure we want to hold on to mana. There are ways he can kill him. Okay, this is a good hand. This is a good, good hand. Uh, we have double elusive getting buffed by Poppy. And if I play Young Witch earlier, I'm not going to have mana for protect. Yeah, I'm, I'm okay with this. Keg into Parlay. Yeah, there's a few ways to do it. But he did spend one Keg. That's something to consider. I mean, he kept he spent one Parlay. Now, he has a way to do six damage to this, unfortunately. Like, and it's not even the worst play. Warning shot into a uh, six cost card, which costs three, is spicy as hell. That's not bad. All right, that's not bad at all. Does he block or does he let me level up? L leveling up is significant as well. He's trying, okay, so he's basically saying he's gonna race me. This deck should not be able to race me unless he, he attacks with a leveled gangplank on, um, on six. And even 6 is a little bit late, because you want to do that on mana 5. This is great, because I can actually survive um, the 6 cost card now. We always take the hit, because we want to keep that uh, um, above a certain range threshold. So double Young Witch here, poppy the next turn, and then attack with everything for massive swings. There's a world where I don't play the second Young Witch. It's such a weird play. He stole my Rally. His, I mean, the rally there is actually not that good, believe it or not. He's pushing a little bit more damage, but it's not that good of a rally. Okay. Poppy drops on every time. He's going to try to kill Poppy. I'm assuming this is going to come down to kill Poppy immediately. And we have twin disciplines to protect her. We should be okay here. We've got a very good swing. 
One buff goes to the... Who do I buff with the first? Do I buff Zed or the second Young Witch? I probably buff the Young Witch. Because this is already hitting for five. He's going to double block this anyway. It's pretty scuffed. I think I might survive with double Twin Disciplines. But I'm going to lose a lot of... Wait, what? Wait, who runs Twin Sisters? What? That's an unexpected card. I mean, it's not the end of the world. That's a weird card. Everyone runs it? Really? I did not see that ever. That's the first time I see that. Imagine if he doesn't block. I wish I had one more mana to lethal him. I'm one off lethal. Okay, so I just need to survive one turn. One turn is survivable. Crap. Why did it have to hit face? I needed him not to open with Gangplank. Okay. Um, fine. So Gangplank is the only thing that really destroys me. Seijuani doesn't beat me. Only Gangplank does. Nopify is... Mm, uh, so much damage. It's so much damage, dude! I'll have to double Twin Disciplines block. And... Oh, boy. Ah! <laughs> you can't Nopify the skill chat. Don't be Papayas, please. So we have Poppy. As long as I have one elusive, I need to have two elusives alive. I, I have enough to win. I can win this game. I, I see the play in my head. I already see the win. Zed. I'm down to zero. With this, I'm down to three HP. It's a good play. That keeps me to three HP. How important is it? What, what are his lethals? Like, what cards does he run for lethal in this deck? I think I want to kill the Zed so he doesn't get kegs next turn. I'm pretty sure this is correct. He's not going to get the keg. And now the question is, how do I set up a lethal? How much is this hitting for? This is hitting for only two damage. Three, four, five. It's not enough. I think I'll end up replaying Zed and losing these, unfortunately. Okay, that should be enough for lethal. This should be lethal. We'll lose both of these, but Zed is going to hit for two, and I can pre-buff Zed and open attack. I think we have lethal. I got dicey. Yes, it did. All right, back to diamond two. Oh man, I I love the scraps. Poor times and swagger, dude. My fa <laughs> my favorite editor, Tams. Vulnerable. True, he's vulnerable as well. Round end. Edit and uploads a video on YouTube. Destroy scraps from your deck. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. Oh, and they fit so well as well. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Who is he again? Swaggers. Tough. Okay, I like the tough stat. Round end edits and uploads a YouTube video. A video on YouTube destroys scraps from your deck. Level up when justice is obtained. This follower has no level two. Oh, oh that's great.